When you're sculpting in surface mode in 3D Coat version 4, you may notice a new brush at the top of your tool panel that allows you to dynamically tessellate localized areas of your model, much like you would when you're using live clay. The difference is just in the way that it works and also it introduces a different subdivision method. So again, it's just a different option. It's not a replacement in any way. So with live clay, if I zoom in, and hit the W key to turn on wireframe. I'm going to hide these other elements and right click and drag up and down to increase or decrease the depth value on my brush. And so I can sculpt and tessellate simultaneously. So I'll undo. I'm going to right click and drag all the way down to zero out my depth value. And now I'm just tessellating. So this is a good way maybe to mark out sections of your model that you know you're going to work in high resolution. And you could do just a reverse uh, with clean clay. Here in the tool options panel, you could choose reduce to actually do just the opposite and lower the polygonal density in certain areas. Okay, for example, if this character was going to wear a hat, uh, you know during a game or something like that and I don't need much resolution in this area I could always reduce and so on so you have a lot of options for this type of local subdivision and reduction with live clay but another way to approach it is using this subdivide brush I'm going to undo and this allows you basically to paint select much like you would oops I'm sorry let me make sure I choose that first. So you can use a brush to paint select as you would with Vox Layer, Vox Extrude, Smoother, and Angulator brushes. Okay, and you have different options here to subdivide the area that you've chosen or subdivide everything outside that area. And the third option is to subdivide the entire object on the layer. Let's go ahead and hit apply after we choose subdivide the frozen area. And you see how that works. Loop subdivision is basically to triangles what Catmull Clark subdivision is to quad subdivision. So it's probably going to be a little bit more accurate when you're working with extremely high frequency details on your model like pores and very fine skin wrinkles and so on. And with that, we'll conclude this brief demonstration of the new Subdivide Brush in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching.